Hi, everybody. Welcome into a special Heat playoff edition of Lexus Sports Extra. I'm Josh Moser. Miami earning the top seed in the East, beginning their playoff run to a hopeful fourth NBA title against the eighth seeded Hawks. We start first quarter. We saw the heightened playoff physicality right away. Trey Young wrapping up Jimmy Butler on the breakout. The two had to be separated, both earning technical fouls. Second quarter, the game finally getting settled down. Duncan Robinson lining it up and knocking it down. Heat up 19 after two. Third quarter, Miami starting to pull away. P.J. Tucker, corner triple. Remember, Tuck choosing to come to Miami after winning a title last year with Milwaukee. Tucker also missing the end of the regular season with a strained calf. This is what I live for. This is, this is it. I came here for this. This is... It's everything, so um, to get those days off was big. Finally feeling kind of like myself again since December, so it's a good feeling to be able to move, be able to jump. It's been great. Back to the game later in the third, Kyle Lowry takes it away from Trey Young. It's a run out. Max Struess thunders at home. Heat up 26. End of the frame, Jimmy Butler with the monster slam. Buckets had 21, heat up 26 after three. Fourth quarter, Robinson, how about a four-point play? It's a franchise playoff record. Eight trays on a team-high 27 points. He went 115-91. Thank you, Ethan. Bam Adebayo returning from the NBA Health and Safety Protocols from COVID. It was 32 minutes for Bam, a game-best plus 27 went on the floor, despite scoring just six points. Rings there. Uh, S-H-I-T about his scoring. Bam is an uh, ultimate winner. Strong words from coach. Hopefully it's 20 points out next time for Bam. The Panthers going for that mark today against the Red Wings. The Cats looking for their 10th straight win. This one scoreless in the second period until this. Sasha Barkoff, the perfect pass to Anthony Duclair. 1-0 Cats. Spencer Knight spectacular in net. 33 saves on the day for the kid, and Knight getting all of the offense he would need. Still in the second, the Cats continuing to press up 2-0. Anton Lundell makes it three, then 28 seconds later, Maxim Mammon getting in on the fun. How about four in the second period alone for the Panthers? Third period, this too good not to show you. Cats shorthanded, Sasha Barkoff on the takeaway, then check the lead for Lundell. So unselfish and smooth. Cats win their 10th straight, 6-1. The Marlins having a season opening weekend. Miami looking to take three of four from Philadelphia. Many baseball experts believing Philly is the team to beat in the National League East. Bottom two, Brian De La Cruz blasting this one right back up the middle. Jazz Chisholm is going to come around. It's 2 nothing Fish. Same frame, Miguel Rojas roping this one down the right field line. De La Cruz coming around on the RBI triple. It is 4 nothing Marlins after two. Fast forward, bottom six, Marlins leading 7-1. This adds to it. Chisholm finding the grass in right. Joey Wendell scores. Then watch Jazz stretch this into a double. Three RBI afternoon for Chisholm, moving from the nine spot to the six in the lineup. Marlins win 11-3. We just went on the attack super early. Everybody at home say hello to Donovan Campbell in South Florida is known for its great prep athletes. Donovan, there's one local softball player that is considered one of the best in the country, and she's not just great on the diamond. Yes. Welcome back. Heat head coach Eric Spolster deciding to replace Duncan Robinson with Max Struess in the starting lineup following Miami's four-game losing streak at the end of March. The move to the bench working for Robinson here to start the playoffs. The sharpshooter setting a franchise postseason record with eight made threes in game one against the Hawks. Look at the rest of the playoffs. 2-7 series. Kyrie Irving returning to Boston, letting the fans know they should be crying now that he's gone under a minute's play tied at 111. It's who else but Irving. Big three. Uncle Drew had 39. However, the Celtics had a chance. Down one final ticks. Jason Tatum is going to spin right around Kyrie. He's the hero. Celtics win a thriller. 115-114. 3-6 matchup in the East. Bucks hosting the Bulls. There's Giannis, third quarter. Here's the MVP, body control, expert level. A game high 27 for the Greek Freak. Under 130 to play, it is Brook Lopez. Yes, sir, bucket and the foul. Bucks take game one, 93-86. There is so much buzz around this year's Canes football team. Mario Cristobal brought back to restore the U to national championship prominence. This weekend, the spring game quarterback Tyler Van Dyke, impressive. 
finishing 20 of 32 for 172 yards. TVD leading the first team offense to four touchdowns, including this passing TD. Crystal Ball liked what he saw, but once more. Time now to welcome Drew Rosenhouse to the show. Drew, good to see you as always. Great Thanks for being you. here. Happy holiday. Yeah, thank you. Same to you. Thanks. Man. Very quickly, before we get into the NFL, I want to ask you about the Miami spring game. What were your initial impressions of the Canes? We know they've got a heck of a quarterback. Many projecting them to maybe win 10 games, but right now the NFL is setting their win totals in Vegas. Currently, the line for the Dolphins is at nine. Drew, how many games do you expect the Dolphins to put in the win column in 2022? I'm going to say 11. Make or break season for Tua, another quarterback in NFL news. Kyler Murray from the Cardinals saying that he will not play next season unless he gets a contract extension. Murray was the number one overall pick three years ago. Still has two years left. That includes a team option for his fifth season. Drew, if you were his agent, what advice would you give him? I think he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. All about that guaranteed money, that longevity. You want that long-term commitment. We've got a long-term commitment from Drew. We appreciate <laughs> you being here every Sunday. Thank you so much. You got it, Josh. Take care. Drew's the best. Coming up on Lexus Sports Extra, it's more from the Heat. Eric Spolstra named a finalist today for head coach of the year. Tyler Hero, a finalist for the Sixth Man Award. When we return, P.J. Tucker explaining his new playoff mindset after winning the NBA title last year with the Bucks. We're back in 120 seconds. Hi, everybody. It was a special night in Sunrise. The Panthers needing a win over the Maple Leafs for a franchise record 104-point season. And it wasn't looking good early. The Cats trailed 5-1 in the second period. Seven minutes into that period, Cats shorthanded. Radko Gudis blasted one off. First shorty of his career. All of a sudden, it's a two-goal game. Five minutes later, Claude Giroux gets his first as a Cat. It's 5-4. Here they come, third period. It's the duo that makes this team so special. Sasha Barkoff to Jonathan Huberto. That's 100 points on the year for Hubie. It's 5-5. Six minutes later, same score. It's the pair again. This time, Barkov on the goal. Cardiac Cats, 6-5 Panthers. We'd go to overtime and in OT. It's who else? Barkov to Huberto. Nine points between the two. The win officially makes this year the best regular season in franchise history. The Panthers feel that this is their time. This Panthers team is special and the Heat are just as good. Miami coming to this Hornets game tonight with a two game lead in the East with three to play. A dub all but assuring the number one seed in the playoffs. We start halfway through the first. Gabe Vincent skipped past to Max Struess, put LaMelo Ball on skates, buries the three. It's a one possession game. Two minutes left in the second. Duncan Robinson spot up, knock it down. 18 in the first half for D-Rob. Then the final six ticks of the half. Jimmy Butler, Jordan-esque. It's a 70 spot into recess. That's the highest point total all year. Third quarter, Bam Adebayo asserting himself down low. 22 for Bam Bam and Tyler Hero having a night. The sixth man of the year candidate leading all scorers with 35 points. Miami setting a franchise record with 23 made triples. The Heat roll 144-115. Tiger Woods is back. The five-time Masters champion says barring any setback, he will play this week. Currently, it is a 10:34 tee-off time Thursday for Woods, who will be playing in his first PGA Tour event since that horrific car accident last January. Tiger saying he's not just at Augusta National to play. He truly believes he can win. Spring training is over for the Marlins. Miami will now travel to San Francisco for the 2022 opener Friday against the Giants. Fish wrapping up Grapefruit League play at 507 and 7. The club's strength this year will be its pitching staff, so a lot of emphasis on the play at the plate. Friday, it counts for real, for real. That is your look at sports. I'm Josh. Keep it right here. Craig and Belkis are back after this to close the show. Time now for seven sports with Josh Moser. Hi, everybody. The Heat officially introducing first-round draft pick Nikola Jovic this afternoon. Here he is, the 19-year-old Serbian, getting his number five Heat jersey alongside team president Pat Riley and head coach Eric Spolstra. Jovic possessing a special combination of size at 6'11 and shooting ability. That's why the Heat selected him 27th overall in this year's NBA draft. I still don't believe what's happening, you know. Big congrats to him. Also to Roberto Luongo, former Panthers goalie, named today to the Hockey Hall of Fame. 
Luongo playing 11 of his 19 NHL seasons for the Cats, becoming the first Panther that played at least half his career in Sunrise to be inducted into the Hall. Luongo is Panthers history, still holding numerous records, including most all-time wins and shutouts. The two-time gold medalist and the 2022 class will be enshrined in November. The Colorado Avalanche are your 2022 Stanley Cup champions. Oh, that'll leave a mark. There is now a big dent on Sir Stanley's trophy. The Avalanche defeating the two-time defending champs, the Tampa Bay Lightning, four games to two. Mario Cristobal landing five-star quarterback prospect Jaden Rashada from Northern California. Rashada is considered a top five QB prospect in the 2023 class. Here he is making his verbal commitment on national TV, choosing the Canes over Florida, LSU, and others. The six foot four dual threat QB prospect explaining what he hopes to bring to the U. I don't like losing, so I wouldn't call myself a winner yet, but I don't like losing. I want to go in there and, and win my teammates as a player, you know, kind of get their respect. And then after that, just build the relationship, try to become a national championship team. And, you know, it takes a quarterback to lead that. So that's what I'm ready to go do. Wimbledon underway across the pond. Six-time champion Novak Djokovic now an 80-time winner on grass, becoming the first player to win at least 80 matches in all four majors. Quick reactions, a hallmark of being a great professional tennis player. And Jody Burridge noticing that a ball boy was about to faint during her first round match. Quick to take action, running to get food and Gatorade over to him. Luckily, the ball boy would be okay. Great job from her. Unfortunately for Barrage, her heroics didn't help her in the match. She lost in straight sets. However, she will compete in the women's doubles later this week. That's sports. I'm Josh. Let's send it back to Craig and Dolphins. For Dolphins fans, is Mike McDaniel the man that can lead this franchise to a Super Bowl? Fins haven't won a playoff game, everybody, in more than 20 years. McDaniel admitting this week he came into the interview process for the head coaching job just looking to gain experience of being in the room talking about a gig. However, the Dolphins tab him now as their man. When you're hired and fired that many times and bouncing around the NFL, you get a, a glimpse at a lot of, a lot of things. He's the best. What can I say? Let's go to the NBA. The Heat quiet at the trade deadline. The godfather, Pat Riley, really liking this locker room. The Heat remain in first place in the East ahead of next weekend's All-Star game. It is now five wins in a row. Jimmy Butler's late game heroics helping lift Miami over Brooklyn. Kyle Lowry making the key defensive stop in the final ticks. P.J. Tucker saying these games in the regular season will provide the experience needed when these late game moments really count in the playoffs. We are just getting started tonight on Lexus Sports Extra. When we return, we introduce you to the only undefeated men's college basketball team in the country. Plus, the Panthers get set for the restart. Learn how the Cats are preparing when we return. Hi, everybody. Welcome out live to FTX Arena. We are roughly 30 minutes away from tip-off in game one of round two of the Eastern Conference playoffs between the top-seeded Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers. Nationally, there hasn't been much talk about Miami. Despite winning the East in the regular season, the national analysts believe that this team is lacking a true superstar, making a storyline all about having these unheralded players. However, Bam Adebayo says just keep on talking, and he'll keep putting games in the win column. We don't, we don't pay it any mind. Like the Heat, the Panthers also earning the top spot in the Eastern Conference in the postseason. Cats beginning their playoff run tomorrow night, welcoming in the Washington Capitals to Sunrise. And this team winning the President's Trophy during the regular season. That goes to the squad that scores the most points in the NHL. However, fresh on the minds of the Panthers is last year's first round playoff loss to the eventual Stanley Cup champions, the Tampa Bay Lightning. And we understand we, it doesn't matter what we did all year. What a time to be a sports fan in South Florida. We also have baseball this evening. The Marlins just underway against the Diamondbacks over at Lone Depot Park. And to get you set, we show you this. How about this play in the A's and Guardians game in Oakland from yesterday? The ball is fouled out of play down the right field line. The fan has a chance to be a hero but goes to zero, misses the catch, and even worse, spills his beer all over his wife. A moment to forever be remembered at the ballpark. Unfortunately, 
it is all for the wrong reason. So he is in big trouble. That video will be on replay for years to come. Hopefully it's a win tonight on the Heat. For in-game updates, follow me on social media at the Mo's Nose. We'll see you after the game.